Hi, my name is Giovanna Arietta, and this is a video showcasing termite tracker technology. We'll be explaining the history behind the tracker, how it works, and how it will impact the termite industry. Let's begin by just giving a quick demonstration of how simple and easy the tracker is to use and understand. That clicking that you hear is the tracker picking up on termite activity. So after 30 seconds, we have a count of 21. Let's try out another piece of wood. Now, if there are no termites, no clicking. A single click or two doesn't necessarily mean anything. The tracker is very sensitive. I'll explain a bit later. Who invented the termite tracker and why? The termite tracker was developed by Hal Dunnigan of Dunnigan Engineering. It was developed in order to detect the presence or absence of termites using acoustic emissions. Basically, several companies have tried to develop devices to listen for termite activity. Termite activity mostly refers to termite feeding. The hardest part of termite work is knowing if there are termites and where are they. Currently, termite specialists are looking for visual evidence of termites like damaged wood, swarmers, which are flying termites, pellets, termite waste, or mud tubes for subterranean termites. But right now, there's no way to test whether or not there really are termites in a structure. The tracker gives us the ability to test for the presence or absence of termites and pinpoint exactly where they are. This is a big leap forward for the termite industry. The tracker gives valuable information to both the customer and the termite professional. Now, what sets the termite tracker apart from every other acoustic emissions device? Basically, the tracker has a proprietary filter, which filters out other signals besides termite activity. Other devices had problems with false negatives and false positives. A false negative is when a device says there are not termites, but in fact, there are. A false positive is when a device says there are termites, but in fact, there are not. The tracker really doesn't have this problem. In a state of California funded research project done by a prestigious university, the termite tracker was clearly the most accurate, easy to use, and understand. Several laboratories throughout California and in the world use termite tracker technology. The owner of BioVent Termite, Ji Chow, who was a termite researcher, thought so highly of the tracker that he quit research and started his own termite company, which uses the tracker on a daily basis with amazing results. Let me show you how easy and effective the tracker is to use and things to watch out for. Let me show you all of the parts and how they work. First, there is the probe and tip. The tip is what is inserted into the wood. The probe contains the piezoelectric crystal and filter. As the termites eat the wood, the vibrations are transmitted down to the grain of the wood. That signal is transmitted to the metal tip. The metal tip sends those vibrations to the piezoelectric crystal, which then converts them into electrical signals. The proprietary filter then filters those electrical signals and only transmits those produced by termite activity. The signal is transferred through the phone cord to the black box. The box contains the amplifier, battery, and audible clicks, which we can hear as well as count. There is also a volume control as well as a sensitivity control. The sensitivity control controls the distance by which the tracker can pick up a signal. At the highest sensitivity, the tracker can pick up termite activity four feet or more in either direction with the grain of wood. The tracker only reads a couple of inches against the grain of wood, so on a wider piece of wood like a four by eight, you may need to take a couple of readings from roughly the same place. On an eight foot two by four, one reading from the middle of the wood should be okay. By adjusting the sensitivity, you can pinpoint the center location of the existing colony. The tracker is battery powered and works for 40 hours on a single charge. There's a low battery indicator to let you know when it needs charging. Now let's demonstrate how easy the tracker is to use. All you need is a 1 8 drill bit. Drill a hole about a half an inch deep. Then you simply put in the probe until it hits the bottom. Now you just turn on the machine and press the restart button to start taking a reading. While the tracker is taking a reading, it doesn't matter if you're talking or the TV is on. Most background noise will not affect the tracker at all. The only thing you must be careful of is rattling metal, like moving ladders or jingling keys.
We're pretty sure there are termites in this particular piece of wood. What do you think? Like I said, you have to be careful of noises like rattling keys. But you can tell the clicking produced by the rattling keys is different than those produced by termites. Let's try another piece of wood. Again, talking does not affect the tracker. As you can hear, this piece of wood has no termites. The tracker is very sensitive, so again, if there's a one or a two, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. We at BioVent Termite will call an infestation active if after 30 seconds there's a count of five or higher. When in doubt, it's always a good idea to take several readings. If the count continues to be five after 30 seconds several times, then we would call it an infestation. So far, it's pretty easy to see the difference between the two pieces of wood. One has visual evidence of termites, and the other does not. So, why do you need the tracker? Now, this piece of wood has visual evidence of termites. A homeowner or a termite professional just looking at this would say it had termites. A standard recommendation would probably be fumigation. Now, let's see what the tracker says. Now, we're not hearing any clicking. The tracker is telling us that there are no termites in this particular piece of wood. Now, someone with no specific detection equipment, if this were a home, would say that there are termites and it needs some type of treatment. That's what we call a false positive. We've drilled a hole in this piece of wood, which we've plugged with a piece of cork. We don't hear any clicking, so there are no termites in this particular piece of wood. These are live drywood termites that we've dissected out of a piece of wood. We're going to put them into the piece of wood we just tested. Now, usually in a research setting, the bugs would be given time to acclimate for a week or two before being tested, but we won't wait that long. Now let's see what the tracker has to say. Now remember, termite professionals are looking for visual evidence of termites before calling for any treatment. They would say this particular piece of wood has no termites, but we know it does because we just put them in there. In conclusion, we've shown how simple and easy the tracker is to use and understand. We've shown how valuable it is in detecting the presence and absence of termites. We've also shown that it's been scientifically tested and proven effective. We at BioVent Termite use the termite tracker on a daily basis with amazing results. We use it to detect one, if there are termites, and two, where are they? The termite tracker was developed and made in America, so you know it's made to the highest quality of standards and very reliable. Without using the termite tracker, how do you know if you have termites? Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in purchasing a tracker or want more information, please visit www.bioventtermite.com.